Ooh. Naked Soul oh, album damn. I produced. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what you did on there. Dickies featuring Jeezy and Bun. Oh, you did the Dickies song. Okay? Yeah, I did the Dickie record. So let's talk. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. <sighs> per Pimp and Ken. Okay. That's the song that caused the friction. It is. That's the song that caused the friction between. That was the beginning of it. Of the friction. That was the beginning of it between Pimp C. Because initially and he did that with Shorty Red, but. Jeezy didn't use it for whatever reason. And Pimp, and Pimp was like, fuck that. I'm using this Dicky record. So he signed Take the Hood Back. That ended up having uh the Middle Fingers, yeah. Slim Thug, and Vicious on the okay. R.I.P. Vicious. R.I.P. baby. Uh, he sent it to Jeezy. And for whatever reason, Jeezy didn't want to do it for free. Because Pimp was on the assumption that we swapping these verses out. Yeah. And he stopped answering the phone. So shit, Pimp feels some type of way about it. And I'm finna call Atlanta radio station. Watch this. You was there, right? Yes, I was there. <laughs> I mean, you was right there. Right there. Man, Pimp come up out of his bedroom. <laughs> I never forget this. I'm sitting in the living room. Back then, you know, we went three X, four X T's and yeah. shit. He got big tall T on, big tall white T on with some socks. Man, watch this. <laughs> got the phone in his hand. Got that razor phone in his hand. Yeah. He flipping up. Got that razor in his hand, yeah. man. Shit, yeah. he called it on a radio station. Yeah, man. He ain't the only one spitting fake no prices. Mm. I'm talking about every nigga who talking about these squares. Yeah. Ain't sold nothing. <laughs> And it was hey, it. but he was really, bro. Honestly, bro, Pimp was in his feelings about this shit. Like, bro, he fucked with Jesus, so he like, goddamn, this. Nigga oh, he got his feelings answering. hurt. His feelings was hurt about oh, this yeah, shit. So yeah. I'm gonna say a bunch of shit to make your feelings hurt or make you call me. I'm just trying to get the nigga to call me. That's all this shit was. I'm gonna call your radio station. What did it he work? say? No, nah, did it work? <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, it worked. It had people fly in. It was a. a Private flight. I ain't gonna say the name, but some people flew into Houston thinking Pimp was gonna squash it. Yeah. And Pimp turned up. <laughs> they flew to Houston. Sad. I'm talking about they come to the highs. Yeah. Man. So we're gonna double down on it, nigga. It really made some it, it was somebody that C loved and uh he loved C. Big L was trying to squash that shit. Shout out OG Big L. Oh really? He flew down with Coach K to Houston. Trying to squash it. And it didn't Pimp go down did, And it didn't At all Well Were they trying to squash The Jeezy situation Or just the Atlanta situation The Jeezy shit oh, Okay It wasn't no Atlanta shit Well you know People in Atlanta Felt some type of way About the South The South coming But they was quiet about it I know it but they were mumbling. Yeah, he didn't say nothing about yeah. it Publicly <laughs> So now But We heard That it was a Gangsta Grizz album I mean no no A Gangsta Grizz mixtape that uh, Jeezy was quote unquote supposed to be dropping with a diss song, with the whole album going, the whole project going. They see, so C went was ready. Boy, I dare you to drop that motherfucker. I know that's I right. I dare you. Oh, I'm a. That's a super tight exclusive. Y'all heard that? <laughs> that yeah. was a gangster grill album. And I don't know. We don't know. It was a, allegedly. Allegedly, C thought it was, so he had one ready to fire back too. <laughs> he was ready. Well, let me ask you this, Mister Beto. Talk to me. If you had it, where them songs at? Well, you a fool. Where them songs at, Dito? I'm a lockbox. I know you if, got it. If, 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 nah, I, hey, man, I'm going to say this because, you know, you got if something C on. didn't want me to have none of this shit, he wouldn't have made Man, C gave me so much shit I before he passed, bro. And it's crazy because you were able to tell me some stuff I didn't know that he told you. I didn't yeah. even know he had told mm-hmm. certain people about what, he was, what me and him was doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, he made sure I had a lot of shit. He knew who to trust with the music. He knew who to trust and who not to trust. I'm a hustler, bro. I'm not yeah. finna. I'm not a. Oppo- Everybody's an opportunist, but I'm not gonna move for opportunity mm-hmm. when it qu- when it questions my integrity. Yeah, that yeah. part. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Man, nah. So that's why you don't hear a lot of stuff that people probably want to hear. Man, see, he was a work. Yeah, holic. I I don't remember C sleeping, so when I that's why it was so funny just to hear somebody say C put on the bed like yeah. man C didn't hmm. sleep hardly, <laughs> hardly. And when he did sleep, he might sleep for a day. Cause I'm about to say, but you know what? Home. He was usually sleeping in the daytime, right? 
Yeah, he wouldn't sleep at nighttime. All night he recorded. Yeah, he was recording and crunk. Right. Yeah, his day began around 5, 6 o'clock. Right, he might go to sleep 10 or 11. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that was the life. Right. That he lived, that we lived for a long time. A year and 11 months. Strong. And we didn't put out the UGK for Life album. Yep. The Naked Soul album. Yep. The Steel Pimping album. Yep. The Long Little Pimp album. And, and, and it's it, still, it's still versus a out there. bunch of shit. And Not I'm, a bunch of shit. That's because he and Bun work real fast. Right. In the studio. Right. Hey. C would work around it to make it easy for Bun to just walk in and do his shit. Hey, it's your girl Jazzy K from Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone who's been watching and subscribing. And if you enjoy this content, please hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with super tight. Yeah, I get the love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.